All right, what's good, everybody? So I made it to League 10, finally, after just experimenting with a whole bunch of decks, and I still don't know what I'm going to play, but um, I'm playing this Mega Knight deck for this video because I actually really like uh, enjoy playing Mega Knight. Um, I feel like it's a fun archetype. You can make a lot of outplays with it, but the matchups aren't that great, so maybe it's not, like, the best deck to pick, um, but it is really fun to play, so I just enjoy doing it. I feel like Prince is a very underrated card in this meta specifically because, the, like, there's a ton of things that get, like... It's going to get value in pretty much any matchup when they have a single tank. I'm going to go Miner behind that Firecracker because he's probably going to try and protect it. Yeah, he is with that Knight, and that's going to take that out pretty easily. He's going to need to respond. I'm going to hover my Zap because he's probably going to Skellies. Oh, I thought he was going to Skellies on Tower. I guess that was a good play by him. But we still get a decent bit of damage. He gets a couple Hog hits um, against Hog Rider. I think it's going to be a little bit difficult to defend um, like Hog every single time. It's probably going to get one shot at least. But yeah, I only have level 13 <laughs> Little Prince, obviously, so it's not going to be ideal for defending. There's the Hog. Hopefully, this only gets one swing if I get the Prince down right away. Um, yeah, it looks like it only will. Also, I said that the 25k special would be out today, but no, there's not enough. I don't have enough um, time to finish it today. So tomorrow, I'm, I'm, I'm going for tomorrow. I swear I'm going to try my best to get it out um, tomorrow. It's taking quite a long time, longer than I expected, I'm going to be honest, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm just going to cycle my minions in the back here. He's going to Tesla the middle. Oh, that's boring. Um, <laughs> says me, the person that literally used to use Tesla only every single match of my life. But I'm just going to zap his skellies. There they are. He's probably going to go in with his hog. Yep, I'm going to get the evil archers down. Let's see how fast this melts that. Um, I'll prince to the side. Does it get a hit? It does. Dang, I think no matter what, it gets a hit then because I played those basically right away. Uh, and I played him in the correct placement this time, so you guys don't flame me in the comments. I'm gonna go wall breakers with these archers because he did spend a lot of elixir. He has to go defensive quake. Okay, um, I mean, I guess that's probably in. Yeah, it's, that's a fine play from him. I'm just gonna cycle Little Prince in the back again. I mean, you know, he doesn't have a big spell besides the earthquake, so I can kind of be a little bit more free with my Little Prince in the back. Um, some matchups you just can't play it in the back at all because they just continuously spell it. Oh, this is gonna be very hard to break through. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna cycle Mega Knight in the back. Try and start building up, I guess. I'll pop the ability here just to push that Knight off. Give myself a little bit more time to deal with stuff. But, yeah, he's gonna have that Firecracker alive forever. I don't really have a good response to it. He's gonna get another Knight down probably, too. I'm just gonna zap. Bro, my cycle right now is really bad. I have to Prince in the back here. Hopefully that Firecracker just goes other lane. He's gonna go Firecracker at the bridge. I can guarantee it. Yeah, there it is. So I'm just gonna Miner behind. Um, I should have just predicted it because I knew he was gonna do it, but it's fine. I'm just gonna go Little Prince up high. Hopefully it can shoot this Tesla. That's my... Uh, okay, it's just not gonna shoot the Tesla. I'm gonna go Mega Knight in front of it, though. Kind of be annoying for him. At least go for the minions here. And then, let's see. That's probably not gonna get through either because the Firecracker's just gonna sit there and wreck my entire deck. Yeah, usually, I mean, Firecracker's not that meta at the moment, so I shouldn't have to deal with this that often, but I think I'm going to lose this game because, um, yeah, I can't stop these hogs. Wow, I got two shots as well. I got to go for the Mega Knight, the bridge here in front of all this, and we're just going to have to try and overwhelm him. I do have a pretty good Elixir advantage, I want to say right now. I'll go for the Miner to hopefully catch something. It's not going to do much. I'm going to go for the Wallbreakers. He's in a little bit of trouble. Little Prince up high. Mega Knight on tower. Hold up. We can maybe do something if I zap right now. We're getting Mega Knight on tower. This could be game. Um, maybe... Does that take tower? No, he is going to freeze, but I can get the ability down, um, and it's going to hit the tower in time. Wow, what a comeback. I thought I was going to lose that game for sure. I'll give him a little bit of BM just because he's playing a boring deck. I have noticed running this for a few games now that I do tend to get down on damage pretty early. Maybe it's a bad habit, um, but I always like I always seem to be able to come back. Like I don't know if Mega Knight gets better in double or something, but it just usually... Um, I just am able to overwhelm way easier when I actually can build up a push and like get a Mega Knight and a Prince behind and all that stuff. So I'm going to go Wall Breakers on the left side and see what he wants to do. He's going to Dark Prince those. That's fine. That should connect. No? Wow. Uh, I thought it was going to connect. I don't really want to waste anything on this. I guess I'll just cycle a Zap. The reason I have Zap is honestly just to kind of reset things, um, especially the Little Prince. And I know Arrows might be a little bit better, but I just want to keep the deck as cheap as possible and trust me with this version zap is better than arrows because you don't really need the arrows especially because nobody's really i mean some people are running firecracker but most people are just running little prince so i'm gonna mega knight on top of that he's gonna pop the ability um oh that's that's annoying i was hoping my mega knight might jump on top of that but no such luck okay that's really bad um i might have just lost i'm not gonna lie because now i don't have something to drop directly on top of that sparky and he's going to go Goblin Giant in front of this 100%. They always do. Um, let's see. I can go Prince in the back. I'll zap here and then go Minions behind, maybe? 
Oh, that rage is gonna screw me, isn't it? Yep, that's gonna hit my tower. Uh, okay, I'm gonna wallbreaker surround this at least. Buy myself a little bit of time. Hopefully Sparky dies. That's the goal here, yeah. You know what? I'm not dead. Yeah, I, this could be another game like I was just saying where I come back. I'm down over 2,000 damage, but don't count me out, right? I'm telling you, it just takes one overwhelming push, and they just can't really recover from it. But I almost got uh, my entire tower down on that first push, so I am a little bit skeptical about this next one. He's going to go for his Dark Prince in the back. I guess I'll just Mega Knight. Um, he's going to Sparky again, though. I do have Evo Archers this time, though, so maybe I can do something here. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna go for the little... Actually, I'm gonna Prince in the other lane, just cause a little bit of split lane pressure, and then what? Because he's not gonna expect this, I don't think. I'm gonna go Evo Archers and then zap the Sparky immediately. Those should melt the mini packet and then also kill that Sparky. That would be very good. I can go for the Miner on the other side. He's gonna Goblin Giant. Hold up. This could be... Wait, he's low. He's low right now. Um, I'm gonna go for Little Prince at... Like, in front of my tower, and then I think I'm just gonna go ahead and... Mega Knight in front of it. Hopefully my Mega Knight jumps. I'm gonna Minions because he's obviously gonna pop his ability and then I can pop my ability, please, quickly. Yep, that's good. We're gonna take that out and then look at this. We're gonna get on tower. Wait, wall breakers? I could potentially do something right here. Um, Let's see, I'm gonna go Prince on zero. Call me crazy. This is probably, uh, you know, it should be fine. My Knight thingy, whatever you wanna call it, Guardian is taking this whole tower. Um, okay, no, it's not, not tower down, but I can just go Miner and then hopefully he doesn't catch this. That's game. What a comeback. I'm telling you guys, it is comeback season with this deck. I don't know what it is, but I cannot seem to uh, get a lead early on, but it just doesn't matter. Slowly working my way up in these ranks right here. The thing I li like about this deck defensively is that you kind of have a lot of spell bait with the arrow, or not the arrows, the archers, the little prince, and then the minions as well. He's going to giant the back first play. Got to hit him with the well played from that one there. Um, okay, what do I do? He's going to support this with like what he's either playing sparky or giant graveyard that's probably the two options here he's gonna arrows that oh my lord that is very aggressive i'm gonna pop the ability and okay i was kind of hoping it would take out his little prince looks like it actually might that is very ideal i don't even have to zap that's so freaking good okay that's a really bad ability wait i might have just won the game uh, i'm not trying to get ahead of myself but what is he oh he's dead there's no way he... he's like two three elixir right now there's no way he can defend this right i'm gonna go prince on zero he has enough for bowler what um okay that's fine i'm just gonna hit him i am gonna win this right there's no way he has enough elixir he's got to be like zero and just desperately spamming cards okay yeah he's dead no goblins in cycle nothing to take out this prince that is going to be tower down and a very satisfying feeling i can't believe he almost pulled off that defense after that terrible freaking guardian ability by him um but yeah he's playing giant graveyard so i'm this game's not over yet they can literally just take your tower in one push um especially because he does have arrows, I'm guessing. I'm just going to cycle wall breakers on the right, honestly, because I'm at 10 and don't have anything else to play. And I think, okay, I was kind of expecting him to just go for the giant in the back and try and build something up. But, you know, he's going to go ahead and... Um, what is he doing? Okay, hold up. I'm going to Mega Knight on top of that so he can't pop the ability. And then I'm just going to be very patient here. I'm not too sure if the Guardian would take out all these Larrys, so I'm just going to play it safe and go for the Zap late, and that's a really good defense, actually. Um, he's going to Bowler, obviously, so I'm going to go Minions to try and DPS that down. Yep, there it is. And let's see if he has enough Elixir to defend here. I could go Miner. I'm actually going to pop the ability on zero, and I think he's dead. Yeah, this guy has just been overcommitting the whole match, and sometimes Giant Graveyard players are just this bad at the game, they just don't know what to do when they can't take your whole tower, so I'm just gonna go for the Miner, try and go for the 3 crown here, he's crying, I mean, I would be too if I'm playing this deck, to be honest, um, Wallbreaker's both gonna connect, Mega Knight getting on tower, where we got him down, we got him down to 1600, I really want to 3 crown this guy now that he's been emoting on me, um, he's obviously gonna just Giant Graveyard the bridge, like a brain dead um, individual, but I'm gonna pop the ability, go for the Prince here to take that out is he not gonna graveyard he just arrowed as well so i can just minions now that was just okay this guy's playing terribly um i don't know what's wrong with this guy right now maybe he's just tilted but i think i can get the three count if i play this correctly because i have super archers now go for the archers right away they should dps down his tower if i zap please he arrows but that's not gonna kill that one archer one archer on tower please oh, wait 10 seconds i'm gonna go minor again nine seconds i just need one minor swing please don't catch it Yes, we get the three crown. I'm actually so happy that we three crowned him. And how many times in my life have I three crowned Giant Graveyard? That's got to be the first. The thing I like about this deck as well is that you kind of always have a starting play. And I do like playing aggressive at the start of games. Maybe I'm just an impatient person in general. But I'm going to cycle my minions in the back here. See what my man Crystal is going to do. So obviously everyone's got the stupid little prince. Uh, I guess it's not stupid. It is a fun card, but like at the same time it does get... 
kind of annoying when literally everyone has it um so i don't know how i feel about them giving it out for free i mean it's better than paying for it i guess but at the same time it just makes every single person in the entire game use it so it's like eh. i'm gonna go for my little prince on top of the miner um i could mecha knight in front of those archers but that'd be pretty aggressive i do want to try and figure out what he's running first i'm gonna go wall breakers in front of this just to kind of bait something out and okay he's got mega knight interesting i'm gonna pop the minions in the back here he's gonna go bats behind he's got evo bats that's pretty interesting um prince and minions are gonna make quick work of this and i think he just lost if i'm not mistaken he doesn't have enough for the ability and that should be that was the no way that was the greatest zap i've ever witnessed in my entire life i'm dead um if he pops the ability i'm dead no oh my gosh this guy's insane i've never seen a better time zap in my entire life I mean, that was beautiful. Like, I gotta just give it to him. I thought it was fine. Prince was gonna kill it, and then I'd go minor behind, and he'd lose the game. But that was actually just so clean from him. Um, I've never complimented somebody so much. I'm gonna go Prince. I don't have enough elixir. It's gonna both connect, aren't they? No! Oh my gosh. All right, I'm muting up. Screw this. I'm gonna come back and win. I swear I'm gonna win this game. He's not good. He just got that that one really good zap that caught me off guard. Um, I can do this and come back with just, like, a couple good plays here. Wow, I <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what to say. That was just beautiful. Um, I almost want to clip that and freaking post it. Just, I mean, it is getting posted no matter what because, okay, I'm going to zap those bats. I don't know why he went for his Evo bats at the bridge, but I'm going to go Little Prince in the back. Um, he's got to get his credit for that one. I'm going to go for the Mega Knights in the back. I like that we both have level 13 at Guardian, so it makes it a little bit more even, I guess. Um, I'm probably going to pop the ability here. Yeah, I'm going to pop it and go Archers. It's going to take out his little prince, which is ideal. And we have a pretty big push coming. He's obviously going to Mega Knight on top of this. So I'm going to go prince and then minions as soon as I can. Because he's obviously going to Mega Knight right now. That should DPS the Mega Knight down very quickly. I'm going to go Miner behind. And he should be in a lot of trouble if I just keep spamming. I want to say he doesn't have his Mega Knight in cycle. Um, Barbital's coming down, but that should still connect. How did none of my Wall Reakers connect right there? What? Okay, whatever. I'm just going to cycle a prince in the back. I'm, I guess Guardian or Little Prince just took out everything um that's ridiculous i'm gonna pop the mega knight and then he's gonna pop his ability that's very aggressive no those archers are bad bro i thought he was gonna um they were gonna target onto the little prince i think i played him too close either way but it's fine i'm, I'm just gonna spam again he's gonna mega knight obviously but uh, okay i was hoping the guardian would push it back but it's still gonna get absolutely fried i can go minions at the bridge here and then minor on zero he doesn't have much in cycle little prince stays alive hold up if i catch that then maybe i can do something he doesn't have enough elixir to do anything for these wall breakers i can zap and maybe we win the game here please i told you oh okay hold up don't choke don't choke don't choke don't choke um just ignore the miner because he's gonna wall breakers i'm gonna ignore that miner completely go for the mega knight on top of this minions to take out these wall breakers please miner don't take my entire tower please don't take my whole tower what are you doing i'm gonna go miner on his tower i just need one shot or a zap and i think i win the game Oh, that was actually way too close. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. These games were very stressful, but we came back in all of them. So yeah, GG's. Peace.